going to make a quick video on how to install the Mishimoto uh, catch can that I purchased for my 2019 uh, Infinity Q50. Um, basically just giving the attention to how the hoses are run and uh, how it looks a little bit more detail uh, and try to give some more detailed uh, video of where the uh, hoses go. Okay, here are some just some simple tools that I that I used. I have a big selection of tools, but it was just really simple tools that I needed. So um, this was everything I needed to get the hoses and the clamps off and uh, put the bracket in. So there you go. It's in my garage and it's kind of dark in here, but the noise outside is incredibly loud. Um, I have not installed the hoses yet, but there you can see the catch can is installed with the two bolts on the bottom. There's one, and then there's the one in the back, right there. Um, it fits pretty tight in there. And this one uh, outlet right there, let me see if we get the camera to focus, is um, real close to that air conditioner hose, but I think, I think it's gonna work. And then there's the, um, the out and the in is over there on this side. Um, it fits real close to the, um, what is that, some of the intercooler there, the bracket does. Uh, it's not touching and uh, it's, it's positioned down there. You got some room to move this around, um, move that can around and, and adjust. I think I have it where I want it. Uh, the can is going to move with the engine, so that tide of tolerance is right there. Get that to focus. That is going to, uh, it's not touching, but it's close. Um, yeah, so there, there's the can. It's super nice. It's a, a really nice heavy duty can. I mean, it's so overbuilt, it doesn't even need to be anywhere you know, 50% of, of the build quality that it is. I mean, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, and then to try to show you where the hoses are, because in the few videos I see online, man, I can't see, I can't see jack crap and where these hoses are. Now this is gonna be tough with me holding my little camera phone and holding the light. That is gonna go out right there just right in upper of the, with a little hose clamp on it right there, uh, basically in the center of my video, that's gonna go into the end of the, of the catch can right there, the one on to the right. The camera's not focusing in the, in the low light. It's gonna go there to, on the one to the right, and then the one on the left is gonna come out and curve around, and then it's going to attach to the hose right right there in the center of my video to give you an idea of where that is. That's on the right side of the engine. We're gonna go in and then there it is right there. That goes into the intake. So we're just gonna take those two clamps off, route the hoses and, and then uh, it's on. Realistically, this is, this is so simple. I mean, it's just so hot in my garage. That's the only thing that's gonna be holding me back. Um, 100, 100 degrees with a 80% humidity. Um, but um, this is, you know, this is probably a half out of five wrenches, like how cars uh, rate, um, you know, install and taking apart things. This is, this isn't even, this is just, just barely knocking on a half a wrench. This is so simple. Uh, you know, this, this takes no skill whatsoever. So there's no worrying that needs to be done by anyone that wants to install one of these. It's just so simple. So I'll come back and I'll just show you what it looks like with uh, the, the hoses attached. And, you know, and that's it, man. And that, this is a good fix. This is a must have. A, a, a turbo car, a supercharged car, uh, forced induction uh, vehicle need a catch can no matter what and um, I've had just a, a Brief story. I had a 14 or a 13 Ford Focus ST and I didn't have the catch can on there uh, maybe till 12 or 14,000 miles 
and uh, I ended up uh, adding some, you know, intake plumbing, uh, better intake uh, or turbo plumbing. And so I had the, uh, the engine apart, not the engine, but the, the intake off. And that allowed me to uh, basically just, just see right into the intake valves. And they were just coated with uh, carbon. I mean, just, just nasty. And it was just a pain in the ass to clean. But I did that by hand and cleaned them up and then got the catch can and added that. So a catch can is a must have if you care about your car and the performance, uh, trying the longevity of your performance. So with that said, so there's my can. Just runs like that. If you can see, the other videos are so fast. They just give you a glimpse and you gotta hit pause and figure out where you are. You can see how my where my hose is my hoses start and then they track around and then where they go and then that one goes up there again this one right here this one right here goes up goes up under here under all the wires and then comes out right there and then you just mount it into, into the, the plenum or the intake. And so that's how that works. Very easy. The most, the headache is this routing the wires. The longest one goes to the head and the shorter one goes from the catch can directly to the intake. So hope that helps someone out. Super, super easy. If it just wasn't so hot in my garage, I mean, this would just be just being a really, really simple task. Okay, well, if you do have any questions, I don't get a lot of questions, but ask. But if people do, just for sure, let me know, and I'll try to help you. Thanks for viewing. Have a good day.